How are you today, sweetie? Did you get home safe after the reception? Yep, just sat at home with the dog. When are you going to be back? We're finishing packing right now. It's only a two-hour drive. We'll be home before dinner. Any special requests? No, that's okay. You shouldn't have to make dinner, though. You had a long night last night. Ron is definitely going to want dinner made. I think I'll just do something easy, like spaghetti. You know, you don't have to cater to Ron hand and foot. I'm sure he'll survive one day without you making dinner. Oh, I know, but he's my husband. I gotta keep him happy. That's not a one-way street. He can compromise, I'm sure. Honey, please, try to see the good in him. He loves you and I very much. No, he loves you. I don't think that Ron really loves me. Besides, I'm sure he's ecstatic I'm leaving for college in a year. That's not true at all. He loves you so much more than you know or give him credit for. He actually doesn't want you to leave at all. There's no sense in lying, Mom. <laughs> That's not a lie. He's scared for you. Oh, please, what does that even mean? He doesn't want college to get in your head. You know how college students are. They make horrible decisions. I'm a straight-A student, Mom. I will be just fine. Well, Ron seems to believe you'll get into trouble. I did tell him you'd be fine, though. I know my baby better than anyone. If me getting into trouble upsets him, I might just be tempted to corrupt myself. Don't joke like that. I don't much like the thought of you getting into trouble either. You know I won't, Mom. Everything will be fine. Besides, that's such a long time from now. Just please try to be agreeable with him while you're here. I really want you two to get along. It would mean the world to me. I know he's not your dad. That has nothing to do with it, Mom. I don't care about that. I just didn't expect you to replace him with someone like Ron. I'm happier with Ron. I know. I'm trying to respect that. We're heading out now. Okay, see you soon. Love you. Hey, Mom. Kelsey invited me to go out. Can I go? No, honey. I I'm sorry. You need to stay home. What? Why? All my homework is done and it's Saturday. Ron and I just got married. It's been an eventful weekend. You should stay home and celebrate with us. That doesn't make any sense. I spent all day celebrating with you two and helping out with the wedding yesterday. I know, but I just think it's best if you stick around. You mean Ron thinks it's best? What? Uh, honey, no. Don't blame him. But I know it's him. You wouldn't act like this without his influence. You used to let me go out all the time. Well, I'm just trying to spend more time with you now. We finally had the opportunity to have a normal family. What does that mean? We've always had a normal family. I mean, like a healthy family environment. A mom, a dad, and their kid. Mom, we'll never have that. Ron isn't my dad. Yes, he is. By law. You're being crazy right now. I told you when you first started dating him, he'd never be my dad. And you agreed. He'll never be your biological dad, no. But he's your father now. That's really not cool, Mom. You know how I feel about him and the whole dad thing. Did he say something about it? Ron is a family man. He wants to have a proper one. And for you to be his daughter. He can call me his daughter, but I'll never call him dad. You can tell him I said that. And I'm going to have Kelsey pick me up. I need to get out of the house. Shelby, don't even think about it. I said no. No, Ron said no. He expects me to keep you in line. I told him I would. Excuse me? You're not leaving the house. Come down and get dinner. What is wrong with you? Get downstairs, Shelby, now. I'm your mother and I want you to show me some respect. Wow. Okay, see you downstairs then. Hi, dear. How's the schoolwork going? Fine. What's up? I just wanted to go ahead and text you and let you know everything. I'm so happy to have a family and I love you very much. I'm glad you're happy. I know it can be hard when a parent remarries. Both my parents remarried and it ruined me. No worries. No ruining here. I'm fine. I know it could be hard to open up. I'd love it if you gave me a chance. Why are you bringing this up right now? That's so random. I know about the little tiff you had with your mother last night. I don't want you to think I'm the bad guy here. I'm actually the good guy. Look, I don't care. Mom was being crazy last night. It's whatever. Well, I wouldn't say she was being crazy. Okay, like I said, I don't care. We were just wanting to spend time as a family. You know, you really can't force the whole family thing. Doesn't feel like a family when you try to convince everyone that's what it is. It is a family. This is what God intended. You realize that I'm not really religious, right? Neither was mom until you started dating. I'm trying to introduce you to it. It's what's best for you and our family as a whole. Please don't tell me what is 
best for me, you have no idea. I know that salvation is possible for everyone. Give it a chance. It's better to be safe than sorry. I'm not too worried about it. I've never been religious, never will be. Careful. I won't allow you to say things like that in my house. Get over the power trip. I turn 18 in a couple months. If we can't get along, I might as well move out. You can't move out when you're still in high school. Oh, but I can. It's a sin to dishonor your father, but I guess you wouldn't have known that. You're not my dad. You and mom are being extremely pushy about that, and I don't appreciate it. You need to respect how I feel about it. I understand your frustration. It's normal to be defensive when it comes to new parents. Step parents. That's besides the point. Can't you see that I'm trying to relate to you? I'm trying to get on your level and understand you better. Ron, I don't think we'll ever understand each other. When I'm out of the house, I'll be out of your hair and you and mom will be happy. Can we just interact with each other as little as humanly possible until then? You're quite stubborn. I won't give up though. I'm committed to being a good dad. I want to be in your life. Whatever, don't expect me to call you dad. Of course not. Just give me a shot. I'll show you I'm not so bad. Just trying to do what's best for you. The best thing you can do for me is let me live my life. I really need to get back to this homework. Bye. Why do you want to sabotage things for me? What? I would never sabotage you. But you would. You're pushing my husband away from me. How am I doing that? When you two don't get along, I receive the consequences. You're my kid. I'm supposed to have some sort of a grip on you. You don't need to have a grip on me. I'm your kid, not your property. He told me you said he'd never be your father and that you don't want to have faith. You didn't raise me in any sort of religion. Why would I have any faith? And that was my fault. I should have raised you in a godly home. I am so deeply sorry that I didn't. Mom, I don't care. It doesn't affect me. It does, though. And it will continue to do so for the rest of your life. Do you realize how whack you sound? I'm trying to save you. Ron is too. I don't need to be saved. Why don't you just respect what I believe in? Because I want to share heaven with you. Could we just agree to disagree? You don't tell me what to do. That's it. I'm going to stay with Kelsey. I need a few days. Don't leave me alone here. You have Ron. It's different. Things are much different than you think they are. Clearly, I thought I had a supportive mom. Apparently not. Please don't go, Shelby. I'm your parent. I make the rules. You have to stay home. I'll ground you. Ground me then. I don't care. Please listen to me. I'm begging you. I'll get in trouble if you leave. Do I need to call the cops or something? Our text threat is so ominous, they would probably be scared too. Do not go to the police. That would be a massive overreaction. Let me leave tonight or I'll call them right now. Please just be a good kid. Please understand where I'm coming from. You never try to understand where I'm coming from. I'll be gone before you're home from work. Shelby, Shelby, answer me. Please don't go. I don't want you to get punished. Please. Hey, you. Having some troubles with mom again? Please leave me alone. I don't want to be bothered by either of you. I'm about to leave. Kelsey is almost here. Tell her to turn around. We can work this out. No need for theatrics. I'm not being dramatic. I need a break from my mother. That's a normal teenage girl kind of thing. Something you wouldn't understand. Sinning is also a teenage girl thing. I haven't heard many great things about Kelsey. I know her family. I don't want you around her. She's been my best friend since I was a child. You will never get between that. Well, I could, actually. Especially if I made a call to her mother explaining where you two actually were a few weekends ago. What are you talking about? I know about the party that happened at your friend Daniel's. I found out a few days ago. You will not be hanging around Kelsey ever again. I'm almost 18. Soon I can do whatever I want. You love to throw that around. But you forget that you're still legally under your mother and I's guardianship. So until you're 18, you'll be doing as we say. Okay, well, when you send the cops to Kelsey's house, I'll just let them know how unsafe I feel with you. How does that sound? You won't make it to Kelsey's house. You better turn the car around. Huh? I have your phone's location. Turn around. You have to drag me back. There's no rest for the wicked, Shelby. I'll do anything and everything to keep you pure. What? Maybe I should call the cops. <laughs> and tell them what? That you're being a delinquent and attempting to run away from home? That your parents instructed you not to leave and you did? 
that your parents are Christian and you don't agree with it? You know you're the one who will be in trouble, right? I'll show them the text mom has sent me. I've seen the texts. There's nothing in them that indicates the need for the police. Didn't you know I was a cop for five years? Look, Ron, I really just want to get out of the house. I want to get my mind off things. I won't have my daughter acting out this way. There's a camp we're going to tomorrow. We're going to learn how to be a true family. I have school tomorrow. I have no interest in going to a camp. You've been excused for the week. I'm going to save you, Shelby. You're insane. Why hasn't the car turned around? Kelsey doesn't want to leave me home alone with you. Why not? Only good things will come of it. I'll help you pack. We'll talk about what's going to happen. You're going to gain a purpose in life. Please trust me. I don't want to go. You don't have much of a choice, kiddo. You're coming with us. We're all going to be reborn. You won't regret it. Oh, yeah? Does mom know? Yes. She's so excited. It'll be a nice getaway. Now, I really don't want to get the police involved and risk you being put in jail or anything before the camp. So please turn around. Nice try, but no. Believe me, you want to. Otherwise, mom will have to get involved, and that wouldn't be pretty. What's that supposed to mean? If you want your mom to be saved, trust me. Just go straight to your room when you get home. We'll talk as a family when your mom makes it there. I'm not going home until mom is there. Mom, did you know about a camp we're going to tomorrow? What? Ron said we're going to a camp tomorrow. Oh, a, a camp? I'm not sure. I know he wanted to pull you out of school for some kind of event. He said we're going to a camp for families or something. He's acting really strange. Oh, honey, it's nothing to worry about. Probably just a Christian family camp. Sounds exciting. The problem is that I really don't want to go. Ron is acting so strange and just has a threatening energy about him. He's talking about purifying me? I, I don't like the sound of that. Oh, he's just being a little extra. He means well. He just wants to show you the beauty of our faith. I'm not into that. Why can't either of you see that? I feel like it's more of a control thing with him. It's not, hon. I wouldn't let anyone hurt you. But you're not listening to me. I don't feel safe with your husband. I know you want to be happy and I want the same for you. But I'm your kid and I'm telling you I'm scared. I don't want you to be scared, hon. Then do something. Tell him to leave me alone. If you have any sort of love for me, you'll do that. Fine, I, I will tell him to give you some air. I would do anything for you, honey. Okay, mom. I'm sorry if I've made you feel isolated. It wasn't my intention. I just know Ron has the best intentions for us, so I wanted to try doing what he says. I'm not sure he does have the best intentions. Just let me handle it. I love you. Okay, let me know when you're home. So, you just want to tear our marriage apart, don't you? Think what you want, Ron. I was just telling my mom the truth. You're a corrupted soul. I should have known the evil one had taken you. I knew it from the day I met you. What? You've risen to a new level of insanity. You're actually terrifying. You're the terrifying one. You want all your mother's attention so you could destroy her too. You just want to spread your poison. You're the poisonous one. You brainwashed her. I've shown her the way. She's so close to finally getting it. I thought I could save you too. But really, I need to get you out of the way so you don't interfere with your mom's salvation. She would leave you in a heartbeat for me. You will atone for your sins. I can help you. I don't need to atone for anything. You will. We're going to that camp. And you won't be coming out until you're pure. You can't make me. Your mom can. She's already signed the papers. No, she wouldn't do that. You're just trying to scare me. I promise you she has. She wants you to be pure like us. We both only want what's best for you. You're going to burn someday, you know that? No, you will. Evil must be banished. Goodbye, Ron. Mom? Don't worry, honey. The cops have been notified. What? I see the text between you and Ron from his MacBook. I didn't realize he was so crazy. You know what else I found on his laptop? Some skeptical emails with an extremist group. Seems as though he's not just a simple Christian man. There's plans on his laptop on how to convert us into his cult. I'm so sorry, I didn't see it sooner. Is there anything the police can do? I'm not sure. But either way, I'm getting a divorce. I'll show them everything I have here. I'll make it right, honey. I love you. Stay out with Kelsey. I don't want you home when he gets here. What if he hurts you? 
The cops will arrive before he does, I'm sure. I'll keep you updated. Okay. I love you, Mom. Turns out Ron had a history of mental health issues that my mom never knew about before they married. Ron was involved in a pretty serious religious cult and this was his third marriage since joining where he attempted to convert his new family. He had even resorted to violence in the past. It's safe to say I'm glad mom finally discovered the truth. Her and I have some trust things to work out, but I'm glad to have my old mom back.